All right, guys, it's Soaps there, and welcome back to another Gold Guide video. In this video, we're going to be going over the Type 100 SMG. Pretty solid gun, nice and easy to use. Not my favorite out of the SMGs, personally, but it's definitely very strong. This gun is also one of the better SMGs in Warzone, so definitely another one that's worth leveling up and getting gold if you want to use it a lot. One thing to mention before we get into things is that the Type 100 has an operator that goes with it, and that is Wade. So it's definitely worth using him. Uh, it will help you get a little bit of extra XP while using the Type 100. And then also, this is the class that i would recommend using like with any gun in this game though there's so many different attachments and combinations you can go with so just use whatever you're comfortable with and then perks wise i went with survival training forward intel and lightweight okay now let's get into the camo challenges and first up we have pack tactics and this one will guide you to get 400 eliminations really easy you'll get this done while doing the other challenges so not worth focusing on next up is surgical and this requires you to get 100 headshots another pretty easy one and one you'll get done over time but let's just move straight on to predator ambition and this will you to get 50 multi kills again especially with this gun because it's a pretty solid gun to use you're gonna be getting loads of multi kills and if you're playing on shipment 24 7 or on das house or any small map like that multi kills will come so naturally and easily moving on we have reptilian and this requires you to get 30 bloodthirsties getting streaks on this gun is pretty simple as well it's something that's worth getting done once you unlock the challenge getting 5 10 15 done but as soon as you other challenges just ignore it and it'll probably get done over time while you're getting the other challenges done and it'll just come naturally so not worth spending too much time and effort on if you do have it left over at the end i recommend playing on bigger maps and slower pacings and just trying to stay alive for longer next up is dead eye and this requires us to get 100 long range kills now i wouldn't recommend focusing on this to start with as there is a challenge later on that requires long shots so once you unlock this just skip over it and carry on leveling up the gun moving on to the next challenge and that is berserker and this requires you to get 100 close range kills it's just something you'll get done naturally you're using an smg so most of your kills are going to be close range anyway so really not worth spending much time on and then we have wildcat and this requires you to get 100 hit fire kills a pretty simple challenge just throwing all the attachments that increase hit fire accuracy and run around hip firing and you'll get this done pretty quickly and then we have our three attachment challenges the first of which being survivalist and this requires you to get 100 long shot kills with the warabachi 134 mm rapid barrel 8 mm kurs 40 round drum mags and shirashi t100 stock equipped now this is why you i told you to skip over the long shots from earlier the rapid barrel makes it a little bit of pain to get long shots with but it's still manageable because this gun is so accurate i did this on core but if there is a playlist that has das house in or dome in hardcore then go do that and the way I did it was just going into Das House in the middle lane and getting as many long shots as I could. The second attachment challenge is Mind Games and this requires you to get 100 kills while crouched or prone. With the Shirashi 374mm barrel, Shirashi weighted stock and acrobatic proficiency equipped. This one's pretty simple, you just need to get kills while crouched or prone. I did this by sliding because that will count towards crouch kills but if you want to get into a power position and just crouch or prone or camp in doorways or whatever, just do whatever is easiest for you and you'll get this done nice and easily. And then Lastly, we have Death Artist, and this requires you to get 100 hit fire kills while moving with the 8mm Nambu 20 round mags, Sakura Type 2 stock, and Fleet Proficiency equipped. Again, another pretty simple one just throw on the attachments and hit fire people in terms of the movement you can do it while jumping while sliding or even just by strafing and obviously while you're doing this challenge you'll also get the hit fire challenges from earlier done so another nice and easy challenge and that is it for the camo challenges on the type 100 really simple gun to get gold i found nothing too challenging and yeah it's a pretty solid gun to use in multiplayer at the moment but also one of the better close range weapons in warzone so that's nice so if you've liked this video and you found it helpful in any way please do leave a like it helps us support the channel and also consider subscribing so you can catch my release next gold guide or diamond guide video and also any wars and related content that will be coming over the next few months and you can also click the bell if you want to be notified when i do upload a video but anyway for now i'm out